Now, but we've got to talk about uh, these two gentlemen. Uh, the men's number one seed, Novak Djokovic. He um, he just basically waltzed through his first round match last night against Jeremy Shardy, straight sets. Yeah, no, and no matter what the result of this Australian Open, he'll still retain his number one position on the rankings. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but Nick Kyrgios is the other one we need to talk about. Oh, shock horror. We're talking about Kyrgios again today, are we? He won his first round match, again, fairly comfortably last night um, mm. against a Portuguese qualifier. Have a listen. He had one little outburst early on in the yeah. first set where he shouted at his box. Tell your girlfriend to get out of my box. Tell your girlfriend, Tell to, get your girlfriend to get out of my box. Tell your girlfriend to get out of my box. How about you worry about your tennis game, <laughs> mate? <laughs> He's just, it goes on and on. And we're going to see it all the time. It's just going to be part of his repertoire. I think what we, you know, what we're seeing now is what you're going to get forever. I don't think he's ever going to change on the tennis court, Liam, to be honest. I know you're the, uh, you've got the pom-poms there. You're the number one man in his... Absolutely. Squad. You'd Absolutely. Like there, you'd like to be sitting there with his brother if you could. Well, uh, well, I don't know. His brother seems like a bit of a drop kick. But I'm a big fan of Nick. Now, in his press conference, though, the whole uh, Novak Djokovic not respecting him off the court, he, he responded to that. He was asked about that, and here's what he had to say to Novak. Yeah, he's a very strange cat, um, Novak is. You know, hell, heck of a tennis player, but I, 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 unfortunately, as someone that's partying with his shirt off during a global pandemic, I don't know if uh, I can take any slack from that, man. Like... That's as bad as it gets for me. Now, did I hear you right then? Nick Kyrgios called somebody else a strange cat. Mm. Um, that is what you call the pot calling the kettle black, my friend. You're the strangest of them all, I'm afraid, on the tennis court. I've, I've, I've seen I've, – look, I used to be a massive fan of John McEnroe back in the day. and But as I said many times when we talk about Nick Kyrgios, he walked the walk and talked the talk. He was number one in the world. I think in one year he, he lost four games all year, um, McEnroe. And Kyrgios, unfortunately, has the potential to be anything in this game, but his mouth lets him down more often than not. I, again, I want this on the record. When he lifts the trophy and wins this tournament, oh, do you, wanna, do you look, know I'll what? In a, fact, I'll get, I, tattoo, I, I'll get a tattoo of Nick Kyrgios on my ass if he if he wins. If he wins the Australian Open, I'll get a tattoo of Nick Kyrgios on my ass. There you go, producer Charlie, digital producer Tony. Turn that into whatever you need to. Get it online. Yeah. All right, oh, mate. That's that's. <laughs> Wow, do you want me to, I'll also have some money on it if you want. If, like, if no, 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 no. Trust it's me, like, you with a tattoo of Nick Kyrgios is far is all the reward okay, I'll ever need. Okay, and if he doesn't, you've no, got no, no, to, no, we've got to get to a break. Get on your forehead of his brother. Get to a break. <laughs>